Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be um, doing a little like uh, investigation on the this um, phone brand. I had suspicions was a an actual illegal knockoff being sold in the stores, which is really insane. So we're gonna. Sh I mean, I've literally found the website, and it does look like one of those friggin' uh, overseas kind of scam websites, literally. So, let me right back. We're going to go on the screen record mode. Hey guys, welcome back. The guy has a temper, that's one problem. Um, we're at the website now that... I, my opinion, my opinion, in my opinion, anyway, it looks like some kind of weird, sketchy site or something, you know. So. Yeah, it's pretty weird. That happens in a print shop, especially if there's so many like this, like 500 or something. Website. Definitely weird website. Why is it not a company yeah, you say? That's strange for sure. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, that website uh it it look didn't look like any phone company website I ever seen before. Like it had like a bunch of different things mixed into it, especially like it was really weird looking. Like, so, this might actually be some, like, who knows, some kind of scheme there, because I never, I, ne I never seen that friggin', I never seen that phone brand before anywhere in, but, but Bathurst, and that, all of a sudden it ends up in the stores, and it, you got scammed, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but usually they don't end up in stores, they end up on shady websites like that, <laughs> Why the hell is it in a Staples? Yeah, online there. That is really friggin' yeah. weird. How the hell is it getting what that, into what there? What that I see a lot on Amazon oh, is a, is a mm. hey, D'Angelo, do you know what Danny's Classic is? Uh, yeah. It's like the, it's like the console, the NES Classic, on Amazon here. I'll just, I'll actually try to look up, look it up right now. Some people, Jared. Good. A little bit. Incredible. Let's search up on Amazon. There's some. Yeah, my uncle got actually got one of these before. You're not gonna make yourself a PC. Yes. Yeah. 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 Classic. Yeah, there's a bunch of knockoff NES classic counts for like 30 bucks and all that. Yeah. Like 600 games. There's so many freaking knockoff ones you get on Amazon. Like this. And basically, when these first came out, there's, there's only like five to ten of these in each store. It took a while until they started releasing more in the stores. And there's ten of freaking knockoff NES Classic consoles there. Yeah, and they're made from cheap plastic too, like the 3D printed of the casing. They're made of really cheap plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh, D'Angelo? Yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah you know, it's crazy. The knockoff thing is like literally getting into the stores though. Especially yeah. with the, that, like, I haven't seen that. I'm gonna see what happens when I type in knockoff switch. Like knock off literally the web Nintendo the switch. website doesn't even look like an see English what we get, in English or anything. See what we get. It's look at this look at it's this basically one. This is a knockoff one called yeah. Danica Smitch. It's <laughs> it's basically a knockoff phone that's made to look like a really good uh, recording smartphone, but it's actually it's actually just a friggin' uh, like it literally records like it looks like a v v VHS recorder, and it's bad. 
Like, <laughs> but the games on these freaking knockoff consoles are bad too. But they're a bunch of Chinese knockoff games. Because I remember mm. seeing that on a 500 cart NES game. Yeah, one of my workers when I was in that apartment there brought an mm. NES game where, where it had 500 things on it. I played it on there. He, so much of weird knockoff games like Ninja Mario and all that. Stuff that was mm. never... Stuff that that never... It, like A whole bunch of unlicensed games and all that too. And bootleg. Yeah, how much, uh, you should see how high the prices they're going for now. Yeah, the retro games, yeah. Starting to go down now, actually. Starting to go down now a little bit. I saw it recently. Yeah. See how much the GameCube is. Still pretty expensive. The GameCube's had the Angelo. Yeah. Where yeah. you got the camera pointed at? The screen. Yeah. You can see the prices. Yeah. This is the last time I looked at them, they're pretty they're, friggin' insane. Look how much this 64 is with the expansion pack. Look. And two controllers. Jesus, man, look. Oh my god, $342. It's almost pretty much even more almost than, 400 even and more than a new console. It's insane. Uh, last year you could buy one for like 60 bucks. God, the prices the are bad. Prices are very bad. <laughs> yeah, let's see what the Super Nintendo has. Hmm. 179. Hmm. Not too bad. 120. <laughs> this one's pretty good. Yeah, that's the second model one there. See NES. Almost 200 for this one. <coughs> 200. This is one that's expensive here. The DS ones. Look how much it's not even 3DS. Yeah. The, the, the DS Lite that, that, that's basically damaged, 116. Yeah, 167 for a perfect condition DS Lite. Blue and black. So, a bunch of these free and crazy prices. Probably because they, they raise it up because no people are going to be in quarantine. It's going to be hard for them to get money. So, they raise the prices. That's why I think that was D'Angelo. Jesus, man. Silver DS. Oh my God. Original. $170. See? Look, D'Angelo. Yeah. It's like the I'm showing big ones it. It's there. crazy. They're charging that much. Let's see what's the most expensive one there. I'm gonna check. This one's almost 200. The black one's almost 200. It's 200. Jesus, dude. They weren't, they were used to be like $50 last year, man. They're like $50. And pretty free and seen that. Let's see what the Game Boy Advance is. The original one there with the, with the double A batteries in the, in the dark screen there is 123 for the, for the clear purple. This one here is 125, 190. It's almost 200 for this one. I got this one here. Actually, uh, here it is. I got it right here. Yeah. I got the, the red one here. 160 for that one. Jesus, look, two fifty four for this one, the pink one. Jesus, look at this, three hundred for the for the best one there, the pearl blue and the AGS one hundred one. The backlit ones are the best ones too, D'Angelo.
That's what sucks about the, the freaking pandemic prices. They're also freaking big prices. Look at this one, Diego. Game Boy Micro. Look. A gold and red one. Famicom edition. Mm. So many freaking... Even a Spongebob <laughs> Game Boy. Look. Spongebob edition. Pretty cool special editions. Yeah. NES controller one. Let's see what that is. <laughs> These are gone up in price. Look, look at this one. Hundred fifty two. Yeah. yeah. These would be, be like 30, 40 bucks these ones before. These like 30, 40 bucks last year. Crazy, huh? Almost 200 for this one. Pokemon one, look at this one. $220. Gonna check every one of these, man. Let's see what the Game Boy is one. The Game Boy is before like 30 to 40 bucks. No. These ones have gone like $50 more and all that. Yeah, the oldest game systems like the first Nintendo is probably a lot. No, the, the NES is the cheapest one out of the bunch here. Uh, Look, the, see? the 64 is pretty expensive. Yeah, the oldest one's the NES here. The 64. The PSP. Nintendo 64 would literally is worth more than friggin. Look at the PSP. Oh my $200 god. $200 for. And 227 another one there. Yeah, that's, the friggin, that's, a, that's a bad condition one but, too. Like, God, man. That's almost Look, the price of, will cost for Xbox One or something. One. Why though? It's 232. That's insane. Mm. Pretty much the price that an Xbox One would be. But not no, there. Check the, see, check the Xbox One. I'm just gonna check. See how much that is. Xbox One. Xbox One? I bet it's the same price. Xbox One. No, it's not being scaled it's too decent. big. It's decent. Let's see what happens when I put Xbox original. 223. Yeah, they're pretty. I remember I had one of those, D'Angelo. I had one of those. I basically had to slam the top to freaking get it. Get the disc trade. Yeah, God, it kept I, I remember stuck. getting one way cheaper than yeah. that. Yeah, I those, they gone up quite yeah, a bit. The one problem with those friggin' things is that the, the disc tray will get stuck. Yeah, the, they always have to slam the top of it because they bought them for like 10 bucks at a yard sale. Yeah. So they're a pain in the ass just to get the friggin' game in there. Let's see what happens on 360. Mm. Shit, man. Yeah. This is almost 300 for mm. 250 gigabytes. That's pretty insane. Anyway, guys, we're gonna off the video there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Yeah. Um, D'Angelo Pitcher. No, wait. You say you're. Phase on God 420. D'Angelo Pitcher vlogs and I in peace. Phasing out.